So now we move on to Mendelssohn's Verlei und Frieden. Um, I thought it would be nice to hear this uh, piece in the uh, orchestral version. Um, it's strongly reminiscent for me of Brahms's Geistliches Lied, perhaps um, suggesting the same sort of um, stillness in, and also, of course, in the same, same key. Um, what's um, interesting about this is how he starts it as a kind of um, duet between the two cello parts. And, and the video that I'm going to play you has actually got the full score. So um, I've up prepared a PDF of the, um, of the version you're used to for those who've not got it. Um, but you'll see the full score, um, albeit quite small, on the video. And you can see how he uh, starts with this lovely duet between the two cellos and a, and a single bassoon um, holding this long note at the beginning with the organ. Um, and and after the basses have this beautiful, beautiful opening verse, um, gradually he introduces the full orchestra. And, and just listen to how that colour, um, that, that changes from something which is kind of quite... Um, introvert and almost like chamber music to um, a sort of full orchestral sound. Um, this is, uh, was a Lutheran, a, a Lutheran um, hymn um, which Mendelssohn's, uh, rather than sort of harmonising uh, chorale as, as Bach might have done, uh, this is completely original melody and what a fantastic melody it is too. So um, I do have a good old sing-along. This is one of my absolutely favourite pieces of the, of the um, of the uh, whole concert, really. He's just a uh, natural, Mendelssohn's like Mozart, really. He's got a, a natural gift for melody and just seems to flow easily from his pen. Um, but do do see how he scores it differently in each of the three verses. Um, so you get those lovely different colours. After that, um, there's a video to show the other side of Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn, of course, was a, a very flamboyant performer. Um, brilliant pianist and um, you might like to uh, else uh, on your own time as it were um, have a listen to some of the piano trios uh, which are fantastically virtuosic and exciting and he's a real kind of showman in some ways and what I'm going to play is a piece which I hope that we'll do in some point um, in the next few years um, his Lorbkesang it's, it's most commonly known by that word uh, as, as the hymn of praise especially uh, to people, to choirs and people in the choral world. But in fact, it's, um, it's, his, it's published as his second symphony, um, even though it's actually tw nearly twice as long as any of his uh, purely instrumental symphonies. Um, it's really, I think he called it a symphony cantata or something like that. Um, so it's, it's a sort of a symphonic in scale, but a, a kind of collection of, of pieces like a kind of oratorio. Um, and I'm going to play... Um, two movements again to show the contrast between the two. First of all, he, he's, he's setting a text from Romans, from the Bible, um, Die Nacht ist vergangen, uh, the night has passed, but the day has come, so let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light. Um, and he sets this very, um, there's a sub short soprano uh, solo that introduces this movement. The movements all kind of flow um, often one to, to the next. Um, it's wonderfully dramatic, um, lots of kind of powerful trombone melodies and um, then the choir comes blazing in. And then it's followed, um, segue um, without a break, into um, the hymn um, Now Thank We All Our God, Nun Dunkit, which is uh, exactly as you would know it. Um, and And he sets this it's, again, it's just very simple idea, but very imaginative. He sets the um, he sets the only um, a cappella movement first of all for the first verse. Um, uh, so that's a really kind of striking contrast between all the the full orchestral sound uh, to the choir on its own, um, and then that subsides into this beautiful uh, uh, second stanza, second verse. Of, of that uh, hymn, um, which has got this beautiful um, pulsating um, string um, figuration uh, underneath it. So it's absolutely beautiful and, and totally contrasting. So I hope you enjoy those two. 